Hello everybody, and this is Reuben. Reuben is our new German Shepherd Lab mix, and because of Reuben, we're putting up a fence. Now I got lucky in the fact that I have a fence on three sides of my yard. So all I have to do is come across and over here, and then on the other side I'll show you. I'm just gonna do an angle, but We'll show you uh, not everything on how to build a fence, but we'll show you uh, at least how I'm doing it. So I ran string lines and marked with uh, black marker paint where my uh, where my posts are going to be, and I'm digging those now. On this side here, I'm going to put in an eight foot wide gate here to meet in the middle with another four foot wide gate there. So I'll have a 12 foot opening so I can get vehicles in my backyard. On the other side of the house, I've got uh, a fence, as you can see, that comes up the yard, and I'm just going to angle that straight across to the corner of the house here. It's at a bit of an angle, but I didn't want to build build this up and then over. It's only a couple of feet, so I figured I'd just do an angle, and I'm going to put a five-foot gate in here, and then I'll swing out this way. Um, so i got a post there, post where that black mark is, and... I'm at the point where I'm digging holes right now. I'll check back in when I got more done. Okay, the holes are dug. On this side. And we're going to use quick creek, fast setting concrete mix. Sets in 20 to 40 minutes and ready to tug on in four hours. All the poles are set in concrete and I got to run along the string line here. You can see the concrete down in there or not. But they're all set to the right height and we're ready to go. I'm just backfilling with the dirt right now and tamping it down. Add a couple inches, tamp it down, add a couple inches, tamp it down until uh, until it's uh, all the way to the top. And here's the far side of the house. And these are already filled. So we'll just give them a little bit more time. We may start the fence this afternoon. Or I may wait till the next day. I can always build the gates if I want to, uh, if I want to have something else to do, so. Just a quick reminder too, don't forget to call your uh, underground utility number. For me it's 811 and they will uh, let them know what you're doing and where you're doing and they will bring out all your utility people and mark where all your lines are. Next I've fitted the top rails on. I got them on both sides of the house. You uh, just alter these up and down. Let's see how this one ribs up here. And ribs up and the one on the opposite side over here ribs down and that way these two poles are at the same height when you're running your fence around okay the fence is up and I've got the gate left to do and I got the other side done too I'll show you that I will need to still do my wire ties for the top here and I'll get those tomorrow. Daylight's burning. And here's the other side. And the five foot gate is going to be built and put in there. And we'll show you that next. Okay, for all intents and purposes, the fence is done. Uh, I kind of put away the camera after a while when I got to the point where I just wanted to get this thing done. So. I'll show you how I put these gates together. This one here is an uh, eight foot gate and a four foot gate to make a 12 foot section that will uh, open up so we can get vehicles back into the backyard if uh, we ever need to. But uh, basically it's just this top rail pipe here and bought these aluminum corner pieces and just cut and measured them. Dropped in your uh, tensioner bars just like you would on the regular fence and put your hinges on it and you're good to go. 
basically just a small section of fence. I did uh, lop off a row of uh, cross hatch so that uh, it would actually fit the gate better. So, and then in the middle here, I have this pipe in the ground. So this works on a lock here if I want to put a lock in there. Or I just flip it up and open that and these uh, pipe is in the ground. It keeps that eight foot gate closed. So I use this four foot and that hinge right there to keep it closed. The eight foot did have a lot of weight to it. Um, so I put this turnbuckle and wire caddy corner across it. And when I wound that down on these turnbuckles, that uh, lifted it right back off the ground. Uh, one extra thing I did to the fence post too was I put these self-tapping screws in there because I noticed that you could bend the fence or the gate forward and backward because even though it was tight here it would allow the, the bar inside to rotate so I put a screw in each corner on each one of the uh, corners of the fence posts so that's pretty much the gate or the uh, fence project I got a little bit of fill I gotta do I put some of the grass back in there where I cut it out but uh, put a little bit of fill in and I am completely done with this project. Real happy with it. I'm glad that it's over because once it got to the fence portion, it was a bit of a pain in the butt because what I didn't account for was I put in my poles nice and square, but where I attached to the neighbor's fence on both sides, those poles are out of square, and so that really wreaked havoc with the uh, gate and having that all line up because one side was out of square. Hope you enjoyed watching this. Stay tuned, and go Tigers!